everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're gonna look at another gun. This is the Tipman Cronus Tactical. So this is the same gun as the standard Cronus. It just comes with a bunch of accessories to make it look more like a full setup gun. So internally though, the gun section right here is identical to the Cronus. So if you're interested in some of the specs or more of the uh, what comes with that gun or what that gun entails, check out that video for the for the standard Cronus. This one is just gonna be about what you get in the tactical version. So I've got two guns here. I've got an olive one and a tan one. We looked at the tan one in the other video. So we'll look at the olive one in this one. So let me open this box up. There we go. So manual. Parts kit. So you're gonna get uh, you know, your barrel sleeve, your squeegee, some oil, some O-rings, some Allen keys, standard stuff there. We've got our stock, we've got our barrel with our mock silencer on it, we've got our gun with our carry handle, and we have our front foregrip. So I'll put these things back in meow, and set that over here to the side. So we'll look at the gun first. We'll kind of lay everything out. So the gun right here is the same as the one we looked at before, except for the addition of the carry handle. So the carry handle does come off. It's just held in by these two screws that hold the foot in place right there. Now the carry handle is, um, is a composite, so it's not metal, but it is super durable. It's made out of the same material that they do their frame out of, so it's not gonna fall apart on you or break. <coughs> does have the sight in the back, so you can sight through the bottom or through the, I guess, the top of it. What it does also have is the hole in the middle. So if you want to mount a rail, they make a, a rail that you can get, which mounts to the top of this carry handle, which will then give you a standard like Picatinny style rail on it. And you would, it drops through here, you tighten this little nut on the bottom here, and it lets you mount scopes and sights, red dots and things to the top of this. So it acts like a riser. You can lift up the height of your scope or red dot or sight or whatever it is and make it maybe a little easier to see through, which is a cool thing. Or you can leave it just as it is and you can use it as a carry handle or use it as a sight. The options are endless. So many activities you could do with this gun. All right, so let's tighten that back up on there. There we go, make sure it locks and see if we can carry it like that. If you wanted to use it as a carry handle. Now, this part here, this is our barrel. We're going to lock this on. As you can see on the front here, this uh, fake suppressor has kind of like an indexed section on it. This is gonna drop in, if I can find the right spot here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Like that, and then you rotate it Oh, I went the wrong direction. I need to come off on this side. So we want to turn, come one back this way, and then rotate into place like that. You can see how it lines up on the top right there. That's going to firmly secure the mock silencer in place. Now you don't need to use that. You can just leave it off if you don't like the way it looks. And then we're going to go ahead and put our barrel on. Now, the way I just did this, backwards, you probably want to put the barrel on first because trying to screw this in where you don't have anything to grab onto really doesn't work so well. Might want to thought of that before I did this, but you can see how it sets up. Put your barrel in first, put the suppressor on afterwards. It'll make it easier. Our uh, handguard, just gonna slide on the front right here. You've got one screw that squeezes it together, that makes it tight, makes it grip onto the gun. You wanna take that completely out when you try to install this. You can see that it does stick up a little bit and that's gonna go through these slots in here and keep everything secure, keep it from moving around. So you cannot just take it and slide it on right now and put it on there. You do need to remove the screw. So don't try, don't put it on there and be like, oh man, it's super tight and start hammering on it or something. It's, it will not go on. And then your scope or your, uh, your stock. So your stock is adjustable position. It's got a bunch of different stops to it um, that you can kind of control the length of it. So make it fit you. And what's great about these, the way they've set them up, is you don't need to disassemble the gun to put in a stock, which is very typical on a 98 Custom style gun. You have to pull the, the, the halves of the gun apart to expose the groove where you need to put the, the stock in, 
and then put the ham uh, sandwich back together, put the halves back together. Takes a lot of time, takes a lot of effort. You can lose a lot of parts. But these are set up like the Project Salvo, where you just slide the stock on to the bottom, make sure that it's tight, and then any little parts get right here. There's a screw, which comes up through the bottom, right there, and screws everything together, and you're done. So switching out a stock, putting one on, taking one off, taking, putting on a different style, a different look, a different color, is very simple with these. You don't need to disassemble the gun. You just throw the stock right on. It's awesome. Makes it super simple, super easy, and it goes off this way. Pop it off just like that. I would recommend using the cap though. If you do not have your stock on there, put the cap on it. It'll keep dirt and debris from getting into the threaded screw hole there. Um, it's one less thing to clean out later on. All right, so we've looked at it. This is the, uh, the tactical edition. Comes in tan, comes in olive, and it comes with all the parts you see here. So if you're looking for a gun that looks more true to life, if you want to look at it that way, uh, the tactical edition is really what you're looking for. The standard one, basically all you're getting on the standard one is this. You do get the foregrip, but you're just getting this section right here. Uh, you do get the barrel, but not the suppressor, not the carry handle, and not the stock and you don't get it in olive. Uh, so if you like the look, you like the color, you like the accessories, pick it up, because for the price, you can't beat it. It's the Tipman Cronus Tactical Edition, available in olive and tan as well. They're available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.